Hi there my friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today's video is just a short one, just over seven minutes long and it's me unboxing the Meaden Watercolour Field Easel. It's been sent to me by the lovely people at Meaden, so let's get into this box and have a look. Now this was the internal packaging, but a on top of this was um, exter external packaging as well. So it was really well packed, really protected against um, everything that the postal system had to throw at it. So let's see what's inside. Just having a peek in there, let's have a look. Okay. So that's looking like the attachment on the back goes on the top of the easel. That's the part that holds the board and there's a mixing palette area that actually attaches to the, the legs of the easel as well. So delving in deeper, let's have a look. And an instruction sheet. And for anybody that's used sort of a camera tripod or something like that, it's very similar. But the whole package, the whole uh, tripod, plus these, the palette and the board or paper holder, all together they only weigh three kilograms. So this is going to be ideal for those who like plain air painting. Uh, it's light enough to take on a plane with you if you're going abroad. Three kilograms is nothing overall. So that's the part that attaches to the legs. I'll show you in a bit. And this part attaches to the top of the easel and it's where you put your board or your paper or anything else you want to work on. That little attachment there attaches to the top of the easel. So let's get the easel out itself, a bit more packaging. Like I said, they we're really, really good at um, packaging this easel and making sure it didn't get damaged in transit. Nothing worse than receiving something in the post and it damaged. So I'm really glad that the effort they put into packaging this has paid off. Okay, so a carry case. It is a bit flimsy, um, but it's just sort of a nylon material. But again, nothing to add to the weight of the actual easel itself if you want to take it out hiking or anything. And I was filming overhead with one of my phones and I kept having to look to see if I was still in frame. Just wanted to get this out to you today. So yeah, as I said, it's just like a normal tripod. Nice and sturdy, very, very light again, but, but, but sturdy. And the good leg length from the three extenders. Excellent. And they do hold really tightly and um, the legs don't fall out or anything like that. They're really good. So the top, we've got the mechanism for moving the actual head where the board attaches and the little tiny knob on the side that enables the swivel um, around. So it can tilt using that sticking out lever on the left and it's got a removable attachment so you could attach a camera to it if you wanted to that little bit I've put on the um, table that is like a, an attachment that you can attach your phone to or a camera or video camera <clears throat> excuse me so there's the little bit on the back of the board holder or paper holder and it goes in to there so this was really fiddly because I didn't want to get my head in the shot and uh, I ended up having to tighten that to stop it from moving about like that as easy as that and then I, I had to jiggle it about a bit and in the end I had to look round the side and actually see what I was doing it's like if you've ever hung a, a picture on a wall and you can't see what you're doing there you go so it's really stable it's not going to fall out it's nice and firm in that 
Okay, so back on there, turning it around a bit. So I've got the two legs at the front and one leg at the back because it's the two front legs that the palette will um, attach to. So the bit nearest the board, the long bit, I've turned it around. So the long bit attaches to the middle stem of the tripod and the that just clicks over the top like so really simple there you go really simple to put together didn't need in the information sheet after all <laughs> the texture of the tripod is lovely it's um, in a matte finish sort of a, a coppery look to it it's really nice um, if you're working in a wind in windy conditions, you might need a central weight hanging underneath the tripod to keep it still. That's showing the back of it. You can see how the easel um, is put together. Sorry, how the mixing palette fits on. And I'd probably put my own palette on top of that because obviously I'd like to use a palette with a lid at its shortest height, 23 inches, 59 centimeters, and again weighing three kilograms. So that'd be ideal if you're sitting at a table and that's the legs uh, extended once up to 32 inches, 81 centimetres. That's nice if you're sitting at the sofa, sitting on the sofa, something like that. Again, the next um, level is 41 inches, 104 centimetres, which is uh, ideal if you're sitting down and sketching outside and that's a standing height of 50 inches 127 centimeters yep all good so far i'll do a review later when i've used it thank you please like and subscribe and i'll see you all soon take care bye bye